VIP access. VIP access with Aniko and Africa Loud. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is your extensive uh, radio career. You've been to a lot of you know radio stations, key top radio stations in South Africa, and now you are a media owner yourself. So what have you learned or what did you take from this extensive career? I would assume part of what you learned or took from that was that I want to you know, create my own space and radio station. Um, but could you just take me through that journey, you know, from being a, an on-air radio personality to becoming a media owner? It's quite the shift, but sometimes very necessary. Yes, ma'am. I think it's, it's taught me to love people, respect people, use the mic or the camera for good, um, 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 use it to exercise my passion, which um, gives me a chance to exercise my, my purpose. My name is Musiso, which means I'm blessed to become a blessing. I bless other children through cameras and through the microphone, just like you do, impact other people's lives from a distance. And when this interview started, I said I do all these different things, mm. but it's all me and I express myself in all these different ways. So I kind of feel um, coming from on air in, into the entrepreneurial side of the radio station and, 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 and having learned all these different parts of running a radio station by working at different radio stations. Um, I kind of felt it was time. You know, if you're watching this and you're over 40 years old, um, it's never too late, man, to, to have a career in whatever you've always wanted to do. But also you must not be stagnant enough to just focus on being um, working for other people forever. Our parents did that where I worked for that company for 30 years. I worked for that company for 40 years. I think in our, in our generation, at most, at most, 10 years is fine. You've gotten enough experience. You've, you've, you've met enough people. You've created enough networks for you to go and partner with other people who are like-minded to start your own. For mm. me, that's what inspired me. Like, it's time for Africans to own our own things, man, our own products, our own businesses, our own companies. The world is changing. Everybody's looking to us because if we don't take charge of owning owning the continent, you do know recolonization is happening all over again. Mm. As much as we can get excited about um, BRICS movement, where I come from in my country, you know, we've just had a BRICS summit that happened a couple of um, weeks ago. Um, you know, South Africa partnering up with Russia, with China, with Brazil, and all these other countries joining the BRICS movement. And people are getting excited to say, okay, we're shifting away from the West, but are we really going to be as free as we claim to be or we, as w where we would like to be? Or are we moving from one um, master to the next? Mm. Is this the, a better master? What type of deals are our government leaders doing? Mm. And if, if you think of it from that perspective, I think... Any work that you're participating in, you're always um, striving to want to be in a position of leadership or ownership or, or, or wanting to give back from, from what is given unto you, right? Mm. So for me, it was an, it was an, it was an effortless shift okay. from, from being a presenter into media owner, but also into podcasting because I have to evolve with the times. Sure. Right? Young people are podcasting. Young people are using social media to build themselves as influencers. They're building their own brands. Actually... Celebrities right now in 2024 are social media influencers. Yeah. Are no longer TV or radio celebrities yeah. or famous musicians. Every brand, when they want their pop, their brand to pop, they go to influencers. It's true. So in 2024, the current influencers are... So, and these are, are young people who just decided to take a phone and use their God-given talent and share content daily in what they love. Mm. And then their followers started growing from 100 to 400 to 700 to 1,003 to 10,000, to 50,000. And then brands started calling them and mm. saying, hey, we'd like to invite you at this event. We'd like, you know what I mean? So we are now using the internet to change our lives. And I really do think um, you don't have to work as hard as we did. You can work smart. Mm. Yeah. So you can work smart in whatever it is that you want to do, but you can still uh, exercise your, your passion, mm. but also find out what your purpose is so you can live out your purpose. I'm, I'm, I'm dropping a new book Easter later this year. It's called Born for Purpose. So I write books and I also make music. Why am I, why am I titling my book? Uh, by the way, I'm saying it for the first time here. Why am I titling my book um, Born for Purpose? Because I've, lived, I've led a purposeful life. 
I've followed my name, blessed to become a blessing. And I've done that in every industry I've been into. Whatever it was radio or TV, whatever it was business or whatever, I've always tried to pull as many people with me as possible. I've always tried to share wisdom. I've always tried to drop game as much as I can. I've always tried to get other people who know more than me to come and educate us, learn from them. I've always tried as much as I can to collaborate and I'm not a perfect human being, but I think um, I've been able to live out my purpose. So you can also shift from participating as a soccer player into becoming a soccer coach or into becoming a team owner one day. Mm. That brings me to my next question. So for somebody who has existed in, um, I would say, different eras, you know, of just the pop culture, you know, you spoke about when this song was recorded with Zahara, it was the time when Afro House was king and queen, especially in Southern Africa. And now Ama Piano is kind of, you know, leading the space. And um, there's been different shifts, you know, there's a time when radio personalities were the biggest personalities and every brand wanted to work with anyone who's on radio. But like you rightfully state now, all the brands want to work with the popular, um, you know, people on social media. So having existed in, you know, both these different kind of worlds, what kind of advice would you give to the young people coming up? wanting to grow authentic brands, but at the same time, wanting to grow their online presence because there are times when they try so hard to grow their online presence and it just kind of makes them have a burnout and you're like, oh, I don't, I even hate Instagram. I don't want to do anything. So I always say it's good to have a balance, but I think it's better for somebody like you who's existed in, you know, both worlds to give this advice. Yes, What's, How's the best way to handle this? It's a great question. I think the first advice will go to people who are older, who, are, who have been radio people for forever or TV people for forever or who think maybe I'm too old, I'm too cool for, for the internet. And I'm here to say, you're not too cool, you're not too cool <laughs> for the internet. We evolved. A lot of my peers thought, ah, that's for kids, man. Why are you jumping onto social media? Why are you opening a TikTok account? Are you going to be dancing around? I'm like, no, it's not all about dancing on TikTok. I'm going to be sharing the same content that I share on all, all my other platforms. And a lot of them, um, they were like, no, me, I'm a traditionalist radio presenter. Um, this social media thing is not me. And then now as the years have gone by and social media is blowing up, you can see that guys come back and they say, why didn't I start this thing with you back then? You know? <laughs> so my advice to the older guys is evolve with the times, man. You're not too cool. It's okay. Come join the kids. Come join, man. Come podcast with us. Come on social. Create a social media platform, but... Don't be too stuck up in the olden day way of doing things. Times have evolved. You've got a voice and we want that wisdom. We want that experience. Express yourself. Use social media. Open social media accounts. Open YouTube channels. We want to hear from you, all you OGs and all our sisters and all legends out there. We want to hear more from you. It's not for kids. This space is the biggest right now than it's ever been. That's my first advice to um, the older guys. You're not too cool for the internet. Actually, you can even use it to create your own business, to even amplify your current brand. Some of you guys were A-listers. You still have got a big name. If you can open a social media presence or, 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 or internet presence, you'll find that people will gravitate towards you quicker than they gravitate to other people because they're more familiar with you. You've been around for quite some time. That's my advice to you. And then to the younger guys is consistency. They post, 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 and then at some point they, they want to give up. They don't want to continue anymore. Mm. They're like, ah, this YouTube is taking too long to grow. It's not growing. I'm only getting three views. I'm only getting 100 views. Be at it. It only takes one video. It takes one video to go either viral or it takes one video to get like a million views and everything changes. The algorithms just change everything. You just blow up. So consistency. Your, 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 your blow up might be in six months. Your blow up might be in six years. But we never know when that blow we, up We is. hope it's not in 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> but it will happen. At some point, it will happen. People whom I've seen start social media platforms a couple of years ago, a lot of them have got big platforms now. They've got 10,000 followers or 100,000. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Because, I, I, I mean, I don't have as many followers as you do. And uh, with my little number of followers, which is a substantial number in my 
world, I have a lot of people asking me questions like, how do you get to this? And it's like, I didn't do anything. You know, I, I, I just was consistent. You know, I just continued working. I continued posting my work, my experiences, and I've seen it grow exponentially or let me say consistently. So I guess that's really good advice. Maybe let me give them five, five Please. Uh, bullet points. Yes. Number one, choose a niche, right? You know what a niche is. If you're a dancer, focus on dancing. If you are a karateka, focus on karate. If you're a grass cutter and you know that you, you cut grass better than anybody mm -hmm. or you clean the toilet better than anybody, give us <laughs> toilet cleaning content. That's your niche. Number one, choose a niche. Number two, depending on what platform it is, if let's say you're building a YouTube, like say this platform is distributed on other platforms, choose which one is going to be your base platform. If your base platform is going to be YouTube, Build your YouTube using your other social media platforms mm -hmm. as a funnel to promote this YouTube because YouTube favors long form content, right? We're speaking now for 45 minutes or yeah. an hour. YouTube favors that because other people want to hear the conversation longer. But you can have snippets that you can then use your other social media plugins to promote this YouTube platform where you're always talking about cutting grass, where you're always teaching people dance moves, where you're always showing people how to, how to um, I don't know, maybe you love flowers or you love dogs or you love cats. Or how to DJ. So, do you know what I mean? Whatever yeah. that is. So, but then number three, so, so I spoke about the niche. I spoke about using your other social media platform mm -hmm. as a separate base to your primary platform. And then... Number three is consistency. I'm going to go back to what I said it earlier. Make sure that you are posting daily. Make sure that you are sharing content daily. And you, you'll size it out. You'll see that sometimes, maybe let me not post daily. Let me maybe post twice or three times a week. Or sometimes let me have appointment posting. Let me tell them that I've got this coming up on Friday at 12 o'clock in the mm -hmm. afternoon. Don't forget. Don't forget. Use your social media platform to keep on reminding them. So your social media platforms are your support marketing base for your primary platform. Whether your primary platform is this one. It gets distributed to other platforms, right? But the primary platform, you've chosen that it's this one. Mm. So consistency, guys. Never stop. Never stop. Because if you stop, you're going to regret it. You're going to come back six months later and somebody who had less followers than you they would have been far. You're like, why did, why did I stop? If I didn't stop, I would be further. And then number four, create it into a business. Find a way on how to monetize it. There is a how-to video on anything on YouTube. If I want to know how to monetize my TikTok, how to monetize my Facebook, how to monetize my YouTube, um, find ways on how to monetize. Remember that this is a business now. You're not just having fun. You're creating it to become a business that's mm. point number four how to monetize that platform you can sell merchandise you can monetize it through the platform itself they can pay you um twitter is or x has started paying people now as well you can build yourself to become an influencer and brands start paying you you can um build it such that you you've got accumulative enough watch hours on youtube so that youtube starts paying you for ads advertise your platform like even before this podcast starts you can have a 30 second banner that promotes a local business and they can pay you and say, um, we'll pay you, um, uh, what, like 50,000 mm. per video or we'll pay you 20,000 per video. You know what I mean? It's up yeah. to you. And then lastly, um, that I'd like to say to the people out there is rinse and repeat. So niche, <laughs> marketing, consistency, monetize, monetize, meaning turn it into a business and then rinse, rinse and repeat. And repeat. Jalanja, over and over. And then it'll just keep on growing. That's how we started our careers, all of us. Damn, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> what haven't we spoken about? Um, geez, man, there's so many things to speak about. I'm looking forward to coming back and speaking about um, the country, Kenya, speaking about East Africa, speaking about that much mitro mitochondrial Gene Eve that started in East Africa. Life was birthed here, the cradle of humankind. I'd like for us to get into those conversations. I'd like to go see more of the country, of this country. I'd like to go visit Mombasa as well. Our African strong, African black sisters. Black woman is God. <laughs> black woman is amazing. Black woman gave us life. Black woman is strong. She's amazing. She's popping with that melanin. She's full of creative ideas. She does whatever she, she would like to do. From back in the 
great, 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 our great, great grandmothers who would be carrying us at the back, holding me on the side, holding my sister and my brother on the side, still holding their dish with all of the stuff that they'd be trading or selling daily. They'll still go through that. And you don't understand how does my mother get a hundred dollars for the whole year, but she still is able to stretch it so much so that we're able to eat every night. Now those women have given birth to women who have given birth to you. Women who are doing it now in the modern day age. You're a podcaster, you're a PR manager, you're a marketer, you're an entrepreneur, you're a philanthropist, you're a broadcaster, a podcaster, you're a fashionista, you're amazing. Black woman is God. <laughs> and I just want to give you your flowers. Thank you for having me on your platform. God bless you. God bless you too. Oh my God. This has been really, and I mean it, the best interview ever. Thank you. You Thank made it you. so easy <laughs> for me. At some point, I felt like I really didn't even have to say anything. And that's what I like about my podcasting as well. People mm -hmm. say, why don't you say much when you interview people? Why, don't, why do you ask a question and keep quiet and let them go on? I'm like, because I learned that from Oprah. You know, um, she's a good listener. And, and once you give people a microphone, even if they're pretending to try and hold back and not say certain things, if you keep quiet enough and you become a good listener, they themselves will give you more than what you could have ever imagined. And the more you get on a recording like this, the better because it's content creation and these videos are gonna exist forever, right? So I just wanted to say, I recognize that in you too, that you, have very, you, you ask a good question and then you give your guests a chance to shine because other podcasters, we want to outshine our guests, right? You ask them a question and then you wanna come in and you wanna show how, how intelligent you are, but sometimes you just wanna probe and just lead the conversation, but give them a chance to shine. And you've done that for me. And I just wanted to say to you, as a broadcaster, as a podcaster, I can see that in you. Keep it up and may God bless you. May this channel grow. I'm looking forward to coming and celebrating a million <laughs> subscribers with you guys. Oh my God, that's the biggest compliment. I was actually going to ask you, like, was it good? And then you just, you know, went ahead. And, and I mean, I have nothing else to say. I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I think for me, it's always a blessing to be in the presence of greatness you don't know where you're going to find it. It could be, you know, someone like you from Southern Africa, or it could be the man outside um, the gate or somebody I meet at the market. But then it, the, the, there's a spirit that you carry with you. There's an energy which is very positive, which is very, um, you know, open, you know, to a lot of people. And I love that. And I thank you so much because a lot of personalities and celebrities, and especially those who are very accomplished, sometimes they just don't have the capacity. And I mean, we are all human beings. We can't be perfect. But for those who open up, you know, their, their lives and their knowledge like you have, it's, um, it's a blessing, you know, to have you sit here and to explain to us, you know, who you are, how you got here, you know, what inspires you? How, how come you do all the things you do? You know, it's almost like a secret to other people. They're like, yeah, there's no secret to this, but it's just like, you know, there's something that you've been doing. Try explain. So I really appreciate that you really try to break down everything. And now I feel like when you're coming here, it was like, I'm trying to understand this guy, but I feel like I've understood you in such a short while because you really did open up to me and to us, and thank you for that. Um, I, I just want to wish you well in everything you do. Obviously, this is home. Obviously, now we are farm. Anytime <laughs> you want you. anything, come back to Kenya, you know, hit me up. Whatever you want, you know, I, I just feel like we've connected and, and always feel free to, you know, involve me in anything. I would love to meet again, you know, if I come to SR, if you come to Kenya. So, um, just know that you have a home in all of us. You know, this is your home now. Thank you. Um, same here. In South Africa, <laughs> you've got a home. You've got a podcast home. You can come co-host with me, my podcast. That would be welcome. so cool. And maybe let me just mention it here as well. I've just signed a new deal with Revolt TV. Um, thank you to Mr. Sean Combs and his team. We've just partnered <laughs> up. 2024, you'll be seeing a lot of episodes from me and my sister, Farai Gundan. Um, will be, you know, giving you African content. content. Thank That's you. That's what we're talking about. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Rewind. Okay, okay. You signed a deal with Revolt for the podcast? Yeah, Revolt TV. Um, 
They've got a podcast network that's new. It's 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 killing it. I mean, people know Drink Champs came out from same platform. My my um, relationship with them starts now. I'm looking forward to learning the African American culture. I'm looking forward to um, connecting with other people who are about Pan Africanism, African diaspora, African creativity, who are based in the U.S. and who are all over the continent. Entrepreneurs, creatives, um, pioneers, and just young black people that are doing great things from all over the world. That's the type of content I'll be creating, and it's going to be existing on the Revolt TV wow. platform. Wow, yeah. talk about Africa to the world. Yes, ma'am. Uh, our brothers has been, my brothers have been inspiring me. I started my careers with them. Shout out to Trevor No, I'm proud of him. Shout nice. out to Black Coffee, I'm proud of him. We just came out from a few weeks ago. He was filling up Medicine Square Garden in New York. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's our time, guys. Don't yeah. doubt yourselves, guys. You belong to the world. And you belong anywhere you would like to be because Africans have been all over the world way before any other person has been anywhere in the world. So it's your duty to go visit every African country, mm. to go visit any continent you'd like to. Don't only just be boxed into where you were born because this whole world belongs to you, African brother and African sister. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone who was watching me this week or listening to me with my special guest, DJ Sbu from South Africa. You heard what he said. Do not doubt yourself. You belong to the world. So any door you want to walk through, just open the door. You actually hold the key. Try, keep trying the key and maybe it might open. I always promise you to bring you an amazing personality, individual, artist, creative, who's going to inspire you. I hope this week really touched you some somewhere and that you learned a lot from this specific episode i learned so much myself so i want to thank tina Dor for bringing me this amazing individual dj Spoo. i want to thank you south africa because you guys are super talented like your music is very um melodic rhythm uh, I, I mean I, everything about the culture in south africa is amazing so it's really great to have one of you here and i hope um we can continue these conversations offline so thank you so much Please um, check out the social media of DJ Spoo. VIP access is also on all the social media platforms. Please share your feedback if you like this episode. And we'll be back again next week with, a, with another amazing personality and guest. Thank you so much. Ciao. VIP access season four is proudly supported by the Australian High Commission.